So Bobby, kind of a follow-up question from our previous conversation. So how can job seekers create an online presence, especially nowadays that when they apply for a job, the first thing the recruiter will go is check them online, check their LinkedIn profile. So what tips do you have in that sense? Well, the first thing I would suggest is to commit to the process of personal branding and dive deep into it so you know exactly who you are, what your strengths are, and who your target audience is. That, that's the first thing. Most people don't want to do the work to dive into that brand. Now, once you know what that brand is, then you can do the second part, which is boost up your profile. So everything, so your headlines got to be really clear in terms of who you are, what you do, and how you can help the person who's looking for you. Your summary has to tell your story about who you are and what your impact is on, on the marketplace or industry. And then I think when you start creating content, whether it's text-based or video-based, people start to see what are the things you're passionate about. They get to see how you talk. They get to see your personality. And they start to imagine you working with them on their team or in their organization. And that's what you want. You want them to see that kind of stuff. That's going to set you apart. And then aside from that, I mean, you know, you have to also be doing outreach too. So reaching out to people, starting conversations, messaging them, and just seeing if you can get a conversation going with the right people so that the opportunities will come your way. And if you, you know, as every job seeker certainly does a lot of work of putting themselves out there. What they don't do is they don't take the time to actually set the, the brand uh, and make it targeted focused. And they don't take the time to really put together a really incredible profile for themselves that stands out. So what about if people are not comfortable using videos or they don't know how to create content, what can they do? Yeah, so if you're not comfortable doing videos, I think that you need to get comfortable uh, because video is the future now. And it's just like videos, I mean, especially now with, with COVID and we're all working virtually and with yes. Zoom, you're gonna, have a, you're gonna have a Zoom interview. So you might as well get comfortable doing that. Now, let's say you don't want to in the beginning, then start working on building your storytelling skills, create content, do use text-based posts, share imagery, give, give me the what and the so what. Tell me more about who you are and what you care about. Because again, we want to find a way to see your personality and see you shine because that's what's going to set you apart. Yeah, that's important because we know we want your authentic self uh, yes. on, at home and at work. Exactly, exactly. Great. Those are great tips. Thank you, for Bobby. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of creating the online presence, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for another great question with Bobby.